perfect day for playing rugby. For the Italians, I think that they need to target the front row. They've got a huge advantage in terms of the number of caps. And we will see whether the uh, England youngsters uh, have what it takes. I'm sure they do. Already, we're seeing signs that the Italian line-out is as flaky as it was a week ago. And England will try and profit from it. Penalty. Mara Bergamasco, who's been singled out. Jimmy Wilkinson hasn't missed the penalty when he started since this fixture seven years ago. First on the pitch for the warm-up, the last of it, and the first man to provide England with their opening points here in Rome. <laughs> but they have an immediate opportunity to try and redress things on the scoreboard. As a qualified referee, I can now say that uh, the first duty of a tackle player, the two things, Got to release the tackle player and got to get away from the ball. It's hardly a conventional kicking style, is it? But it's effective and Italy immediately are back on level terms. 3 3. Again, the line out works well. Gower has Garcia running on the scissors, decides instead to go for Canale. Very, very handy position for Italy. This they've got the advantage, they've got the penalty. And it's as much as they deserve. And at some point, you know. This is the third penalty now, and Crystal Pernos has been what you want from a referee, he's been consistent. Just don't get any simpler than this. And Bergamasco doesn't miss it. Italy doing well to bring Moody to the floor. England still have the advantage. Italy scrapping for all they're worth. Final ten seconds of the first half. Moody's there, England have the penalty. Should they choose it, a kick to square things up at the break? Well, I think they should probably take this because they wouldn't want to go into the break points down. Oh. Got it just, just now, just now. This is Quato, this is Tate, Easter, Mondi outside. Mondi's got it! sorted out and Matthew Tate provides the outlet well England decided to keep the ball in hand and look what the result was simple missed tackle and then oh he's got to he's got to take him there the sport is on hand Tate delays his run doesn't overrun the inside pass finishes well it's a prime opportunity that's a short throw which means he couldn't gather it and get the platform, but at least England have got the back. It was ambitious, they went long to try and open up the field if the throw had been a little bit better. They still have possession though. <coughs> Care waiting and they've got... Oh, hang on. I think the penalty is going to be England's, but there might be a little bit more attached to this penalty. I think Castro <laughs> Giovanni is about to get a board in here. Oh, that's hard, I think. I think that's hard. Mauro Bergamasco. Who will we ever forget his effort at number nine a year ago against England at Twickenham? Now oh, England have conceded the penalty. England offside. Well, it's far from conventional. The boy is ineffective. It's here really flying here. Garcia was coming through and if only. Marty could have got the ball away. Heldon Hayes. Italy have a penalty. They will take the penalty. Told you. England are hanging on. England are hanging on here. Just might be the biggest kick of Mirko Bergamasco's career because this will pull them to within two points. This is a test. Wilkinson. Drop goal. Yeah. Between the posts. England breathing. Well, that gives them a mar that, that's experience for you, gives them a margin of comfort. Well done, Italy. Lots and lots of work for England on that showing. They have won here in Rome, however, by 17 points to 12.